Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. Hi everyone. We will continue our subject on proportion today. So we will look into the topic on turbine. As all you have known, we have gone through the first two topics on compressor and combustion chamber. So for today, we will continue on the following turbine topic. In terms of the learning outcomes, as usual, we have four main learning outcomes. Students should be able to identify, so you have to be able to identify the main components and functions of turbine. At the same time, you should be able to explain the energy transfer with regards to turbine and then compare the characteristics of different type of turbine and finally discuss in brief the type of materials used for the construction of turbine and balancing of turbine. These are the subtopic for the turbine. So we will look into the overview energy transfer from gas flow to turbine, the construction, compressor turbine matching, materials, and balancing. So for today's video, we will look into the first part of the overview. In terms of the overview, the turbine has the task of providing power. So at this moment, you should be able to understand that turbine is the part of the gas turbine engine to drive the compressor and the accessories. So in the case of engines which do not make use solely of a jet propulsion, it provides shaft power for propeller as well as the rotor. At the same time, it does this by extracting energy. Okay, where does the energy coming from? It's basically coming from the hot gases released from the combustion system and expanding them to a lower pressure as well as temperature. So we want to reduce the pressure build up in the combustion chamber. At the same time, we want to reduce the temperature coming up from the combustion process. The high stresses are involved in this process and for efficient operation, the turbine blade tips may rotate at speed over 1,500 feet per second. So the continuous flow of gas to which the turbine is exposed may have an entry temperature between 880 degrees as well as 1,700 degrees Celsius. So this is very high and may reach a velocity of over 2,500 feet per second in parts of the turbine. Let's have a look on a typical triple stage turbine with single shaft system as shown here. So to produce a driving torque, the turbine may consist of several stages. So turbine, not just one state of turbine, they may be constructed in stages. So each stages employing one row of stationary nozzle guide vanes and one row of moving turbine blades. So just to, as we can see here, there are uh, three stage turbine, turbine blade shroud, and we also have exhaust unit mounting flange, nozzle guide vanes as shown here. Okay. And this is the turbine shaft and also uh, the exhaust uh, gas from the combustion chamber will flow through here. In terms of the number of stages, so it depends upon the relationship between the power required from the gas flow, the rotational speed at which it must produce, and the diameter of the turbine permitted. So there are three things here, okay? It depends on the rotational speed, okay? 
it also depends on the diameter and the power required so that those are the three things that will govern the number of stages for the turbine section the number of shafts and therefore turbines varies with type of engine Okay, as shown here, a twin turbine and shaft arrangement. So, so there are uh, twin turbine. Okay, we, we have uh, the, the turbine picture shown here, uh, where high compression ratio engine usually have two shaft. Okay, it's not just single shaft, which drive high and low pressure compressor. So, as we have highlighted earlier in the compressor section, that there are high pressure compressor and low pressure compressor. Normally, high pressure compressor will be connected to high pressure turbine, whereas the low pressure compressor will be connected to the low pressure turbine via separate shaft. On high bus pass ratio fan engine, right? So in the modern engine, you have high bus pass ratio and intermediate pressure system another turbine may be interposed between high and low pressure so we call it as the medium or intermediate uh, pressure system so not it is in between the high and low pressure turbine thus forming triple spool system so this is a typical triple uh, turbine and shaft arrangement uh, for uh, high bypass ratio fan engine On some engines, the driving torque is derived from a free power turbine. So it's a typical free power turbine where it's not, uh, it's, it is another type of uh, turbine, uh, a turbine section or turbine uh, variety that available in the gas turbine engine. So this method for the free power turbine is allows the turbine to run its optimum speed because it is mechanically independent of other turbine and compressor shaft so it does not uh, uh, connected or dependent on the compressor shaft the mean blade speed of a turbine has considerable effect on the maximum efficiency possible of a given stage output we will continue on the second part of the overview in the following video. Stay tuned. Bye for now.